Hi, it's Professor Mary coming to you from the Computer Graphic Arts Program here at Rowan College. Today I want to talk to you about backing up your data files. Let's say all your files are on this one USB flash drive and you lose this flash drive. Ah! What happens to all your work? Or your dog ate your flash drive. That's always a good one. Well, if you lose your flash drive or your dog eats it, all your files are gone. So what are you going to do to prevent all the loss of all your data files? You need to back them up to a secondary location. So here's how you're going to do it. So you're going to see here, this is my computer of my laptop. And you'll see right here, this is my hard drive, known as C. And this right here is my D drive, which is my DVD drive. And this right here is my removable flash drive. You notice that it's a two gigabyte flash drive, and I've, I've used about half of the space. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is um, naming your flash drives. So you see that my flash drive is named Untitled, which is not a very good name for a flash drive. Um, so what I want you to do is when you put, plug your flash drive in for the first time, I want you to right click on it with your mouse. And then I want you to come down where it says Rename. And I want you to type in your last name. And if there's enough characters, also put in a um, your first initial. But because I have such a long last name, I can just only put my last name in. And after I type my last name in, I'm going to press the Enter key. And then the your removable flash drive is now named Melanconico. Now, the reason I want you to name your flash drive with your last name is because inevitably you will leave your flash drive in lab and someone will find it and return it to me. And when I plug it into my computer, I'll see who it is. I'll see whose last name it is. And I'll be able to return it to the rightful owner. So please make sure that you name your flash drives with your last name. And if you have two flash drives, three flash drives, make sure you do that with all of them. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is saving your files onto your flash drive. So here I am in Adobe Illustrator, and you could be in any software program, but I want to show you how to save this file. Right now it's called Untitled, which is obviously a very bad name for a file. So we're going to go to the File menu, and again, in any software program you're going to do this. File, and we're going to pull down a Save As. Over here on the um, left-hand side on a, on a Windows computer, you're going to go to My Computer, and here's my flash drive, and I'm going to open that up. Now you notice that I have a, a folder up here already for this class, but if you wanted to make a new folder for a project, let's say, I could click right here and I could type in CGA215 project 1 and then double click on that and I'll save that in here. Now down here at the bottom where it says file name, I'm going to type in a file name such as room design in full color. And then I'm going to press enter. And then in most cases, most software programs require a second OK through a dialog box. And now this file is saved. Now if we minimize the software package, we go to my computer. Here's my flash drive. Here's the folder. And here's the file. Now that file has been saved. So here's that file that we just saved from Adobe Illustrator. And it's on my flash drive. You can see that because it says my computer, Melanconica, which is my flash drive, and then it's inside my project one folder. Now this is the one and only copy I have of this file. Now let's say, for example, um, you lose your flash drive. And this is the only copy of your file for this project. Well, if you lose your flash drive, you'd have to start this project again. And if it took you a couple um, 20, 30, 40 hours to create, you're recreating it for 20, 30, 40 hours. So one of the things I want to show you next is how you take a copy of this file and save it someplace else. So this file right now resides on my flash drive. So what I want to do is make a copy of it. It's called backing up. So what I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to right click on the file. I'm going to pull down to copy. And that takes an electronic um, image of that file from my flash drive. And now I'm going to open up my computer, and I'm going to open up my hard drive, and I'm going to make a folder here for CGA work. And then I'm going to open up, and I'm going to put this, that file here. So now I'm going to right-click again, and I'm going to say Paste. When I paste that, it takes a copy of the file that's on my flash drive and saves it onto my hard drive. 
Now I have two copies. The original copy that's on my flash drive and a backup copy that's on my hard drive here on my laptop. Now when you copy it, you can either be copied onto your computer at home um, for safekeeping or some other device. So now if you lose your flash drive, you'll at least have a backup copy of it on your computer at home, on the hard drive at home. Now I recommend that you do this with all your files. You can do this every night you come back from the college and save your work onto your hard drive. The other place I told you that you could save your files onto is onto what's called cloud storage that's saved up on the internet. Um, these are network storage devices that let you access your files anywhere you have a internet access and have access to the web. You can also get um, these cloud services on your phones and tablets um, along with your laptops and your desktop computers. So the one that I use that I really like a lot is called Dropbox. So I've signed into Dropbox. And now I want to take that file that I just created, um, that room design file that I have, and I want to upload it to my cloud storage. So I've saved onto my flash drive. Um, I've also saved onto my hard drive as a backup. And now I want to place it in my cloud storage. So up here there's a little icon that says upload. And I'm going to choose the file that I want to upload. So I'm going to go to my computer. And it's on my flash drive in CJ215 Project 1. And here's that room design in full color. So I'm going to open that. And you notice that it's preparing it to, um, to upload. And then I'm going to hit Done. And now what's, going, what's happening now is that file has been uploaded into the cloud storage. So if I scroll down, alphabet, it's listed alphabetically, so I need to scroll down to where it says the R's. Um, here's the room design in full color. Um, I actually didn't want to click on it, but I just want to show you that it's here and it was uploaded a couple seconds ago. Now that file was saved from my flash drive into cloud storage and wherever I have access to cloud storage um, in terms of internet access it automatically will save um, I can open that file in Illustrator, I can save it to cloud storage um, so cloud storage is a great way for us to um, save files, backup files and uh, retrieve files from the internet and as long as you have access to the web, you'll have access to your cloud storage. Now there are many, many different types of cloud storage um, systems. Dropbox is just one of them. A um, couple of the others that we have for free services, there's Amazon Cloud Drive, there's Google Drive, there's Microsoft Skybox, there's a um, program, a web-based program called Box, and then there's one called Dropbox. Um, what I would recommend that you do is look research into these different cloud storage systems and find out which one's best for you. I personally like Dropbox. Um, it's free, gives me a lot of storage space, um, and it's a really easy to use software um, program both on my desktop and through the web. But I also can access it through my phone as well as my tablet. So now what I want to show you how to do is how to copy a file from one flash drive to another flash drive. So here you can see on my computer I have the, the flash drive and that's where I save my project. Here's the project one folder from the class and inside of that there's the room design. Now if I copy this folder I right click come down to copy and now you can see I have another flash drive it's actually a four gigabyte flash drive and it's called master backup. This is the file um, this is the flash file that I use to put all my files on as a backup. So when I get to this, I'm going to double click on it, right click and say paste. And now there's a copy of the work on that, this flash drive as well. So now I have a copy of this file on my flash drive, on my master backup flash drive, on my C drive, and I also have a copy of it up in my Dropbox. So you might say to yourself, boy, Professor Mary, you seem awfully paranoid. You're backing up to four different places. Do I need to be that worried? Well, yes, you do. 
it's been my experience over the last 25 years that you lose your flash drive or your files, not when you first start it, but right when you're about to turn it in. If you don't have a backup of your file, and literally the project has taken you 20, 30, 40 hours, you're going to have to stay up probably all night and recreate your files. So it's best just to make backup copies of it. You know the old saying, better be safe than sorry. So go ahead and get two flash drives, copy them, uh, the files onto both flash drives, keep one with you, and then keep one at home as your master flash drive backup. I was just on the Staples website, and they have a uh, four gigabyte flash drive for on sale this week for about $12. And I think that will only get cheaper as you get closer and closer to the beginning of the school year. So go ahead and invest in some flash drives. You also might want to invest in a hard drive to use at home, a backup hard drive. You can pick up a backup hard drive for not too much, about $79. You can get a one terabyte flash drive for about $79 at Best Buy. So you might want to look into that. So that's how you back up your files to a secondary device for your CGA classes. Remember, we expect you to make sure all your data files are safe. And it's part of your responsibility as a professional designer to keep your data files safe in a safe place so you don't lose them. If you have any other questions regarding this topic, please ask your, your faculty member for the classes that you're taking here at, at Rowan College. And you can always email me, or you could like us on Facebook. Please find us at CGA at RCGC, or you can go to our website. Remember, the website is www.cgarcgc.com.